Hey, what's going on, YT? It's your girl, LB. And today I'm coming to you with an eyebrow tutorial. Now, I always tell you guys that I'm into makeup and my friends know that I love makeup, but for some reason, I never come on here and do tutorials. And they were talking about that when I was hanging out with them on Tuesday. So I was like, well, you know, it's a whole ordeal to record a makeup tutorial. You spend all this time recording and editing and it takes days, but they were like, well, if you upload some makeup tutorials, we want to watch those. I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. So anyway, when I went to, um, um, Bible study last night and we don't have a church home so we just kind of drift so I went to my friend's Bible study and it was some ladies there that I hadn't seen before and when they were walking out of the church they were like oh my god your eyebrows no she said I heard them well I heard them say oh my goodness her eyebrows are so beautiful but they were all the way over there so I didn't want to like yell across the church like oh thank you girl you know so I just waited and I was quiet and they came and they passed me and they were twins. And one of the twins was like, you know, it's an art to that. And then I was like, and then I just looked up at her and then she was like, your eyebrows are gorgeous. And I was like, thank you. You know, I get comments on my eyebrows probably like on a daily basis, not to be bragging or anything. And people always ask me what I do. And I tell them that I use very cheap products and it's very, very easy. So I just thought I'd come on here and show you guys. I don't know if I've previously done an eyebrow tutorial, but if I have, this will be an update. And if I haven't, this will be my first. So I want you guys to stay tuned if you do like my eyebrows. And if you would like to achieve this look, okay, I will so show you. So what you, you want to do is grab some primer. I took my Smashbox primer that I got actually in Ipsy. And um, I'm actually liking it really well. And you want to take that and you want to rub it on your eyebrows. Because makeup needs something to stick to. Next, I got this Wet n Wild pencil. It was 99 cents at the drugstore. And it is in the color of Samoa, uh, Sima Brown. And you want to make sure it's totally, totally sharp because you want to get this precision line. Get yourself a spoolie. First, you want to brush your eyebrows, okay? Brush them, brush them real good. Um, any moment, I'm going to start brushing. Yeah, there we go. So you want to brush them. And um, thank God my eyebrows have a natural arch in them. So it kind of makes the process a little easier. And it's even better if your eyebrows are freshly, like, um, tweezed or something because then you can glide the pencil very smoothly over your skin so now this is the part that takes like so much concentration what you want to do is you want to outline your eyebrows and this is always the part that I gotta really 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 pay attention to so I'm starting this eyebrow outline and you see I messed up right there so just start over and you want to do these small strokes because if they're too long or you put too much pressure it'll just wind up making this totally totally dark line that's just going to be a mess in the long run and you kind of want to follow your natural arch in your eyebrow now I know some people don't have eyebrows that arch this would be a good time to create an arch if you want one or if you just like straight eyebrows then that's on you but do what you do however you want to outline your eyebrows this is what you need to do okay now, after you go and get a good outline on the bottom, you want to go ahead and go on the top. So these are very small strokes, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm lifting my pencil at the end of the stroke, okay? And I'm never looking at exactly where I'm making the pencil mark. I'm actually looking where I want to go. And that's what helps me make a pretty straight line. It helps me get a good outline and a very straight one. So once I kind of got them looking the same, if I need to make any adjustments at that time, I will, which I did. So I wiped that part off because I want them to start at the same place. After that, um, I'm just going to eyeball them, make sure, because I don't want to go through the whole process and do my whole eyebrows and have to start completely over. Then I'm going back in with that same pencil in any areas that I know, just from knowing my eyebrows, that are hard to blend in, I'm going to go ahead and fill in somewhat with that pencil. Because sometimes when I use my brush and fill them in, they still have like these holes in them. Next, I'm going to tape this L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadow. And it's a dual palette. And I think oops I'm just gonna have to wait for it it's in the color poppy and of course I'm not gonna use that light color I'm gonna use that very very dark brown and you can use any dark brown eyeshadow that you have 
and just go ahead and with an angle brush, and I forgot what kind of brush that was, some random brush that I got that I had forever. Just wanna get some of the product in there. And now you wanna begin to fill in your eyebrows, very light strokes, just brush, brush strokes, very, very, very light. And because if you put too much pressure on them, then the product will stay concentrated in that area and you'll have dark spots in your eyebrows. And you wanna try to avoid that the best you can. So just all the light areas, plus thinking about that pencil that I filled in, I wanna blend that out too. And keep checking just to make sure everything is going good. And that tail, that tail is what gets me every single time. You have to lift your pencil at the end so that you get like, it comes to a point, you know, it comes to be like tapered at the end. You want that, that tail, like almost like a, I don't know what kind of animal to compare it to, but I would say like a, like a lizard tail, you know, you want it to come to a point at the end there. And you can do what I'm doing right there and wiping some off, trying to get that as straight as possible because we are gonna go in and correct with concealer, but I'm not a big, big fan of that. You know, I like my eyebrows to look somewhat natural and not just completely drawn on. So I don't like to correct too, too much with the concealer, but I will show you how I do it later on. Now I'm trying to get that little ombre effect going on in the beginning. So I don't put too much product on my brush at this point because I already have enough product in my eyebrows. And what I'm gonna do is take the pencil that I use to outline my eyebrows and a little bit of product that I have left on my brush and I'm just gonna start fading that towards the middle of my forehead. And you just have to get, you know, you just have to practice this technique and you'll get better and better at it. And you'll start, you know, to like it and, and like the kind of fade that you got in the beginning. Now, where to start your eyebrows? They say it's supposed to be at the corner of your eye somewhere. Everybody's different. I know some people that wear their eyebrows really, really close. And some people that are a little bit more spread out. But I'm kind of like in the fade where it's starting kind of where the bridge of your nose is. Like a little bit over that inner corner of my eye. That's just me. Now I'm taking that brush down to that line because the line was a little harsh underneath there and I am just blending, blending, blending the best I can. Now, just think about this. This is something I do every morning. This is gonna take some time, okay? So if you got about 20 to 30 minutes available in your morning schedule, that's probably how long it's gonna take. And of course you get faster as time goes on. But anyway, as you can see, I have brushed my eyebrows with a spoolie just to get them all back in place. Now I'm taking this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color of medium, medium deep that I got such a long time ago. And I'm gonna use this to conceal underneath my brows. It has a little applicator there, but I'm not gonna use the applicator. I'm gonna get my Sigma Angle Brush, and this is a F70, I believe not a single a Sigma Angle Brush, the Sigma Concealer Brush. And I'm gonna get a little bit of product on there. And you don't wanna get too much product because what happens is you'll wind up pushing that product into your eyebrows and that'll be just a whole different problem. Now, a lot of people like to use an angle brush right here, but I don't. I just like to use a regular concealer brush for some reason. I've tried it with the angle brush, it didn't work, but by all means, if that works for you, go ahead and use whatever you brush you choose. Now, again, this is actually better if you can do it all in one fluid motion. But like I said, I don't like to conceal a whole lot under my eyebrows all the time because I like that natural look. So it takes me little tiny brush strokes in order to get it to where I want it to be. Now, you gotta kinda play with the concealer here. You need just the right amount on your brush and you kinda need to push the concealer into the line so that it comes out very crisp because if you try to start drawing over pencil marks it becomes a brown mess so you kind of just want to push it up in there and kind of leave it there and then blend out the rest that's why you don't want to have too much on your brush because you will see like a very very bright line underneath your brows and it will be very difficult to blend if you have too much concealer there so just the right amount, and like I said, it takes practice, and just go ahead and shape your eyebrows out. Now, the reason why I conceal underneath my eyebrows for the most part is because my eyebrows grow so fast, and I only really pluck out the very, very dark hair. So me putting concealer up there is really just me trying to hide some of those fine hairs. Next, I blended it out with my finger, and now I'm gonna take this e.l.f. concealer brush, 
excuse me, concealer brush, this fluffy one, and I'm just gonna blend that concealer out. I love this brush. If you don't have this brush, you definitely, definitely need to get one because you can use this as a fluffy brush for blending, um, you know, your eyeshadow and things like that. Next, I'm taking this Jordana Forever Flawless Press Powder in the color of Light Honey, and I'm gonna use this to set my concealer. You can use translucent, whatever you like, but I like this because it has some color to it. It's actually lighter or more yellow maybe than my own skin tone. And you don't want that concealer to be moving around. So next I'm taking my e.l.f. And this is the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Gel. And I'm going to use this to set my brows in place. Because sometimes they move throughout the day. And then it makes my brows look bald. So you want to make sure they're set in place. So just go ahead and get you some gel. Gel them down like they're your baby hairs on your edges. And go ahead and just shape them out real nice. Next, I'm taking some setting spray. You can take whatever. This is my Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus. And I'm just going to set my eyebrows like so. I hate spraying my face. And this is me acting awkward to trying to get a good selfie to post as the thumbnail for this video. So awkward. And thank you for watching. Until next time, YT. Peace.